All right, for our next operating system, again, we're going to do Ubuntu client version. So I already got the VM created, so I can double click on it, and that will launch Ubuntu in my virtual machine. Immediately, you notice that the the install process is pretty different when compared to uh, Windows. As soon as I launch my virtual machine, it starts unpacking files. It's checking my virtual hard drive. And it's getting ready to unpack some files. I'll just let it run, let it do its thing. Also, notice how much faster this is than Windows 10. I mentioned before that uh, Linux operating systems tend to be lighter uh, code-wise or file-wise uh, than your Windows operating systems. So the installation process is a little bit quicker. It's not as much stuff to layer down onto the hard drive. All right, so check my hard, hard drive. Didn't find any errors. Now it's going to move forward with the installation process. Got a desktop background now. We'll go ahead and pause it here till we get something more interesting to look at. All right, Ubuntu is moving forward. It's with its install. It's verifying some installation files. Again, a lot of this stuff is automated, which makes the the installation a little bit less difficult. But there are going to be times where you're going to have to interact with the system in order to give it um, some important information. Okay, so after a few minutes of uh, letting Ubuntu do its thing, installing files, I'm finally presented with a login page. Notice that it's a little bit different than Windows. Remember in Windows, I had to actually, during that process, define a user account. However, in VMware Player, remember Ubuntu, actually had me set up the user account then so that information that i listed during the initial setup of the vm itself in vmware player carried over to the operating system and it was able to feed it that information and that's why i have a willie sanders account already set and ready to go and that super secret password that i used is also there and set to go so i can just log in and then in a few in a minute or so, <laughs> I'll get my Ubuntu desktop. Now this is uh, the GUI version. Remember that you can install uh, these operating systems, at least the, the Linux ones, you can install them with just the um, command line if you like. But I went ahead and installed it with the GUI.
just doing some finalizing. And then I have my Ubuntu desktop, that cool looking Panther on it. And then I'm good to go. Now I'm up and running. That virtual machine is set. Got two more to go. And these will be our server operating systems.